हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट अस कंटिन्यू द लेसन अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड पैराग्राफ राइटिंग इन आवर लास्ट क्लास वी हैड स्टार्टेड पैराग्राफ राइटिंग आई हैड गिवन अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट पैराग्राफ राइटिंग what are the important features of paragraph writing and what are the steps we have to follow to write a good paragraph and i assured you in the last class to begin uh, to bring the topic called writing a paragraph on the given proverb and today we have the same writing paragraph based on proverbs what is what are proverbs you might know that proverbs are somewhat before starting the class or before giving the definition of proverbs i want to tell you um, one proverb from kannada and then i want to translate it in english then it would be very uh, nice to listen to the class for you ಹಾಸಿಗೆ ಇದ್ದಷ್ಟು ಕಾಲು ಚಾಚು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಹಾಸಿಗೆ ಇದ್ದಷ್ಟು ಕಾಲು ಚಾಚು ಇರಬಹುದು ಕೈ ಕೆಸರಾದರೆ ಬಾಯಿ ಮೊಸರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಇರಬಹುದು ಇವು ಎಲ್ಲವಕ್ಕೂ ನಾವು ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ದನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ ವೇರ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ comes from the word is derived from the latin word proverbium and they are sayings that have been transmitted orally from generation to generation it is not written it means that it it is not came in the form of writing it came orally from one generation to another gen other generation adanna now janapada ant heli heltivi andre ond bhai ond bai inda bai ge aage haadta bandattad haadgalu irabodu athava ee bhashegalu irabodu ee proverbs irabodu idu ella yen agittu yen yen agide ant heli helidre obbara bai inda innobbara bai ge haadta bandirttakkantaddu we can see all these uh, proverbs uh, Uh, in our folk tradition folk tradition alli now bahalashtu kaantive itti chinna dinagalalli now nortta illa namma ajji andir irabodu avrella doddavaru adanna aa proverbs galanna thumba chennagi balustta idru adre itti chinna dinagalalli janru adanna aa bhashayalli adanna use madodilla it makes a lot of difference when we use proverbs it gives beauty to the language it improves our language yavde bhashe agirabodu adu ondu visheshate tumbutte bhashe illi that's why proverbs are very important in the language and when we see proverbs usually express some general truths that have originated from experience and wisdom proverbs yavde obba writer grammar bardha hage bardirttakkanta amsha alla obba vyaktige aadantaha adbhutavadantaha experience anna express madiddu ond ond sentence nalli express madirodanna naavu proverbs anthe heli helti a person who got a lot of experience of life or something else 
with uh, uh, that person who has a lot of wisdom he can produce some proverbs and also it is an advice or message to the mankind these proverbs are they are often these proverbs are often uh, referred in the conversations we also write it in our uh, writings we use it in our writings when we use that in our writing normally we use it in our conversations but when we use it in our writing our writing becomes very beautiful very interesting and many proverbs are not having a surface meaning it has some metaphorical meaning the actual meaning is different from that literal meaning the literal meaning when you see the word or sentence it gives a, a different meaning but it metaphorically uh, seeing it had something else something different meaning we find many common and similar proverbs in different languages as i told you in the beginning before starting the class i told you that it would become very interesting for you to if you listen this um, proverbs first i told you hasige iddas to kal chachu we have in our language in, in our uh, 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 loveable kannada language and the same proverb is there in english can anybody tell that what is that hasige iddas to kal chachu what proverbs we use in english cut your coat according to your cloth cut your coat according to your cloth and kai kesaradare bai masaru no pains no gains and bend the rod when it is hot bend the rod when it is hot idontru thumba sulabhavagide samanyavagi navellaru idanna balasta irtivi kabbina kaadaga badibeku anthe these are the proverbs which we use in our language day to day language day to day conversation use of proverbs make our language very beautiful and very interesting and it conveys a lot of message as i told you these are metaphorical in meaning interpretation of proverbs is very important sometimes interpretation depends on context and situation let's see one example that kannada proverb ondu kaiyalli chappale agalla one hand cannot clap what does it mean one uh, uh, yes if you if you listen if you, if you see this sentence how the one kaiyalli el chappale agutte it doesn't mean that that is what we call literal meaning but it has some metaphorical meaning what is that metaphorical meaning it can refer to a team work one person cannot achieve the goal easily or something like that it can refer to a team work it can also mean a single person uh, 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 is not uh, responsible for a clash or a quarrel for that um, uh, in our childhood we used to play one game our teachers used to show us how effective if you work in team teams are in team ಒಂದು ಕಡ್ಡಿಯನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಮುರಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಅದನ್ನು ಮುರಿತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಂತರ ಹತ್ತಾರು ಕಡ್ಡಿಗಳನ್ನು ಜೋಡಿಸಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಮುರಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ರು ಅದನ್ನು ಮುರಿಯೋಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲಲ್ಲ ಮುರಿಯೋಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಯುನೈಟೆಡ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಅದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಟೀಮಾಗಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆವಾಗ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇ
ಏನು ಬೇಕಾದರೂ ಅಚೀವ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಹೇಳಬಹುದು ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಎ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜನ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪ್ರವರ್ಬ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಲಿಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಲಿಟ್ರಲ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೆಟಾಫಾರಿಕಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ and then we have to interpret that proverb with some examples we have to support we have to give some examples to support that idea to support that proverbs we can use other proverbs also in support of that proverb to make uh, that paragraph meaningful let us see one example rome was not built in a day what does it mean if we go literal meaning of this proverb it it took a long time to build they took long time to build the rome this is the literal meaning but when we see the metaphorical metaphorical meaning of this proverb rome becomes a metaphor for any achievement we have seen that this has become hmm, Uh, a place of renaissance but rome has become the birth place for many achievements so any achievement requires time patience and hard work this is what the meaning of that proverb rome was not built in a day and then what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, uh, topic is to be introduced in one or two sentences when they give that proverb in the examination and when we had to write paragraph on that particular proverb first how we have to introduce is we have to introduce one or two sentences about that proverb and then we have to go for content part meaning of that proverbs uh, proverb is to be explained not the literal meaning but the metaphorical proverb is to be interpreted with examples opinions quotations you have to give of your own and you have to bring in the situation when we can use that proverb and then you can mention you can also mention the uh, uh, support you a similar kind of proverbs in support of that particular proverb which is given in your examination example huttu tidda hage magu nadiyalla a new born child will not walk immediately and finally at last what you have to do is you have to give conclusion to that particular proverb you have to give all you have to give the gist of all that paragraph in that concluding line and then that paragraph on that proverb will be done this is how you have to write the para- uh, uh, paragraph on that proverb and uh, there are cer- certain uh, some proverbs which are given for your reference you can uh, you can take these proverbs and you can practice um, by writing paragraph on each of this uh, one paragraph on each of this uh, proverbs where there is a will there is a way all that glitter is not gold helthara binchadella bangara valla anthe heli helthara la riti man proposes god disposes 
beggars cannot be choosers. Charity begins at home. A friend in need is a friend indeed. These are some of the examples which you, what you have to do is you have to take this as proverbs and you have to write one paragraph on each of these proverbs. And uh, you can see more proverbs in the books which is given in your reference. And uh, hope you have understood this. What we did in today's class is that uh, we saw that uh, the importance of proverbs and uh, where we use that especially we use the proverbs in uh, conversation and we can also use it in language why we use that to make language very beautiful and it it will improve our language uh, our effectiveness of our language and then uh, how to use that proverbs in our paragraph how to use that first we have to give introduction then we have to develop content uh, theme we have to bring in all the ideas or we have to bring in some examples to explain that particular given proverb and then we have to conclude. If, if necessary, we can bring a supportive proverb uh, for that explanation. I uh, hope you all have enjoyed the class. Um, in the next class, we will come with uh, the same topic. Uh, discussion or explaining the uh, um, explaining the quotations in the paragraph uh, thank you for